Indian's Premier League Times Network's Karishma spoke to former Indian cricketer Parthiv Patel exclusively. The ex-Indian wicketkeeper believes women Premier League is a revolution for women cricketers. Also, Shah's praises on Mumbai Indian sp spinner Saika Ishak predicting that she is not far away from getting the Indian cap. Let's listen in. WPL is the flavor of uh, the season. How are you looking at WPL? We've had about three, four days of uh, cricket. What would you think of the WPL up until now? Uh, first of all, I think I'm very fortunate and honored to be part of the revolution which is, you know, BCCI has done for women's cricket. I think it was about time that, you know, women's cricket get a WPL, like our, our own league, because I think our, our female cricketers are playing fantastically well in since last four or five years. Um, you know, there are a range of cricketers who, who needed that bigger stage. There, there are a lot of cricketers who were doing well in domestic cricket, but they needed a bigger stage um, uh, like WPL. Uh, so, yeah, uh, great to be part of it. Uh, the vibe is great. I think it's, you know, it, it's very, uh, I don't like to, you know, compare it with IPL, but it, you know, when I'm commentating, I, when I'm commentating, it just feels like the standard and, and the facilities and everything is, is at par with IPL. And part of any particular player that has caught your attention, we are seeing some very, very good uh, performances already. If I talk about uh, Mumbai Indians, especially back-to-back -back wins for them, uh, Purple Cap, Orange Cap, both with one team. Saika, uh, you know, if you can uh, uh, talk us through her performance, like any players that you've seen uh, during this course of WPL? Yeah, that's that's the name, Saika Isaka. That's that's the name which I was going to talk about. Now, see, obviously, there are a lot of other cricketers who have international uh, exposure. Saika Isaka doesn't have that. You know, she's been around playing domestic cricket for a while. Yep, uh, you know, she's done really well in domestic cricket. Uh, so players like her needed a big stage and to show her uh, skills to the world. And that's exactly what she has done it. She has taken that opportunity with both hands. And like yesterday, while I was in the comms, I'd said it, uh, she has a purple cap right now. But, um, you know, she's not far away from India cap either. I think she's shown tremendous uh, accuracy. If you look at all her wickets, when stump to stump, these are not the spinning wickets, but a spinner who is the highest wicket, uh, wicket taker so far in WPL. And part of, you know, whether it's IPL or WPL, it's also famous for its fan wars between the franchisees, whether it's Bangalore, Mumbai. A lot of teams in WPL, when the captains were announced, a lot of fans were disappointed that why not India uh, captains? Why are there Australian captains? As an expert, what do you think? Strategizing goes into it? Or do you think, uh, you know, franchisees can play on those emotions and make an Indian as a captain? Uh, I don't think franchises take decisions on emotions. You know, the, this game is not played on emotions. You, you, you know, we obviously have. We know that Australian cricket team at this point of time is the strongest team in the world, and and they have. Uh, Maglening has been, you know, has won three World Cups on on a row. She's the most successful captain. But yes, I think you know. On, on the contrary, I think when she is leading the side, um, it would help. You know, Jemima Rodriguez, who, who is their vice captain, she is young. She would learn a lot of thing, uh, things for her. So, it, it, in a way, it will contribute to Indian cricket. So, uh, yeah, I think I don't think the decision should be taken on the emotions. But having said that, no, no, every vice captain is an is an Indian. And like uh, <laughs> when Beth Muni got injured for Gujarat Giants, you saw Sne Rana coming Sne Rana. in and, and ca captaining the side. So, you know, Indian players are definitely capable of leading the side. But, you know, you have someone like Meg, Meg Lenning, you can learn a lot of art of captaincy from her, which it's going to benefit uh, Indian cricket going into the future.